Team Hammer up. Hope you're all well. Uh, I'm just gonna get right on into it. So uh, we'll uh, we'll chat a little bit afterwards. I'm not gonna chat before for obvious reasons. So uh, catch you in a couple of minutes. Uh, you can talk amongst yourselves or do what you usually do. I'll uh, see you in a bit.
Doesn't matter what I do, it's a success. Accurate numbers, not better numbers.
Oh, I missed that. I didn't see what it was. Wow. Wow. My FTP is 304. Wow, it's the lowest it's ever been in my life. The lowest it's ever been in my life. <sighs> Thank you for watching. I didn't, uh, I didn't have the chat uh, for, good, for, for an obvious reason. Uh, uh, I'm standing up because I'm getting everything out, guys. Don't, don't teach me to suck eggs. Um, you can dislike the video if you want, I don't care. Uh, if you want to see how it's done tomorrow, you can tune in for the 20 minute test. Those of you that are new here, make sure you subscribe, please. Because you're going to love everything that I do. A lot of you are tuning out already. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's gonna be so cool trying to get back to full fitness and doing seven walk heel for 20 minutes. I'm gonna throw that in now because there's so many of you who are new here listening. Um, that's right, you better subscribe because I'm doing seven walk heel for 20 minutes this year. Um, coming right at you. So, a couple of things. A couple of things. Um, <laughs> Oh, flip back. I'm absolutely. Uh, that was that was the limit. That was that was the limit today. Be interesting to see what I can do in a 20 minute effort tomorrow. Which is the reason why I chose to do a ram test tonight is because I can now go into the 20 minute test tomorrow and know what I'm capable of and know if I can push. Then I at least I know what to sit on. So um, those of you that are new here, welcome. It's nice to see you. Um, I've made some notes. I'm not gonna hide the fact I've made notes. So my best ever FTP number is, uh, is 380. Uh, 380 to 385 is my uh, best ever FTP number, uh, which was derived from a 20 minute test uh, about six months ago. Um, my aim tonight was to actually get 325 for FTP, so 25 watts short, which is pretty significant. And to give you a bit of background, I've had four weeks off um, the bike, like straight off uh, because I had COVID. Um, any of you suffering with it, by the way, I wish you well. Um, I'm on the way back from it and I, I sincerely hope that you don't uh, suffer uh, with it uh, badly and that you come back from it quite quick. Um, I've done some light riding since then. I've only actually done two training days, which was the past weekend. So I've also got a little bit of fatigue in me. Uh, but still, you know, it's uh, it's good. Um, it's all good. Um, and I said at the beginning of the test, if you didn't tune in at the beginning, I said that an FTP test is not supposed to give you better numbers. It's supposed to give you accurate numbers. If you go into a test with that mindset, you will always, always come out of it with a good positive mentality. So we've got something to work with it is, is what I'm getting at. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wow, I can't believe 400 of you are still here. Um, <laughs> it, it really, it, it makes my day, honestly, when, when you come and watch something like this, because, like, I've been off the bike for so long, and I feel like I haven't given you the usual ed mode, um, and it's nice to, to come back and be able to do something. So, um, as you can probably tell, I fatigued really quickly at the end, so I was really comfortable for quite a while, and I fatigued really quickly, and that's, that's typical of, like, A, lower fitness than normal, uh, and be just, uh, well, just generally like, you know, fatiguing. Excuse me. Oh, um, so it puts, it puts my FTP at five watts per kilo. Exactly. And my, I'm still going to compare it to my best ever because I think it's mind blowing, quite frankly, um, that I was able to do, you know, at my peak, uh, like 6.4, 6.5 watts per kilo for an hour. And now I'm doing five. Um, I started riding with a power meter around eight years ago. And even then, when I tested then, eight years ago, before any racing and before I turned pro, before I was an elite rider, 
my FTP was 315, 320. So it's incredible to see that, because I've taken a month off in the past and it's not ever affected my FTP as much as this. So it's definitely a combination of illness and, um, and time off. Uh, so if you're coming back from any illness, COVID or not, please take care of yourself because your fitness always comes second. Your, um, you know, your cycling always comes second to your, to your health. Your bike will always be there for you is what I was always told. So, um, yeah, um, to be fair, um, to be fair, I'm, I've probably never been as motivated as I am. Uh, and I need to be really, <laughs> if I'm going to be riding around with an FTP like this, um, I need to be motivated. So, um, stay tuned. Oh, by the way, shameless plug. We have, um, Zwift have an event on this weekend. Um, it's part of the WTRL series. Um, but I put together a lot of training sessions. You can, uh, you can join 5 PM British time on Saturday evening. Um, another thing as well is that, um, I'll be racing the whole WTRL series every Tuesday evening. So if you want to hop into a live stream, I'm sure um, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, even if it keeps you company while you're riding, I'm sure you'll uh, you'll enjoy it in that regard. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh yes, it's finding me a test tomorrow night. So come back tomorrow, tune in tomorrow, and you'll be able to see um, you'll be able to see a man uh, basically ride far better than that um I, i'm quite confident i'll do more than 300 watts for 20 minutes or 320 watts for 20 minutes tomorrow night um i'm always i'm always a little bit better in a 20 minute or at least it feels better it might not be better it'll feel better <laughs> uh tomorrow it's uh 6 p.m british time is the ftp test tomorrow so um Sorry, I whizzed through that a little bit. I didn't really give you enough time. I haven't answered any questions either, and I apologise. Um, oh, what's going on now? Why have we? Um, why have we got this? Oh, why have we got somebody stopped in front of us? And by the way, some of you might be thinking, like, how how is he even talking after doing a, a test like that, and and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Do you know that's one thing that probably won't change is my powers of recovery. Um, quite frankly, and that's down to, down to the sheer amount of riding I've done over the eight years. So, you know, may not be my fitness, but it's, set, it's certainly like my recovery is still pretty decent. So, yeah, I do, I do do worse in ramp tests. Yeah, I've never had a good ramp test. You probably saw the the home screen. The last time I did a ramp test was actually. Um, Last time I did a ramp test was like 2000, and like start of 2019 or something. It's like too long anyway. Um, yeah, I'm tired of hearing that bell lap. I'm 100% tired of hearing that. I'm also tired of people telling me that my FTP, even when I'm unfit, is still um, better than a lot of people's I know like you don't have to tell me I coach a lot of people and I know how how hard it is to gain fitness I know how lucky I am to have such high fitness even with COVID and a month off I completely get that um, you know I'm not here to, to to flex on you I'm here to offer insight potentially uh, and to help you in that respect so I'm never here to flex that's, that's, I, I do that on Charlie too much, so. <laughs> no, I've never done a VO2 max test. Never, never. Hey, Josh, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'll ever do one of those tests, Matt. I'm, uh, I'm not someone for, I don't know, I, I don't, I don't really know. I, I'd never, I'd never perform well in a lab. I think I'll tell you that for nothing. I'd never perform well in a lab. It was really, it was incredible actually when I was just, when I was there. And uh, mentally I was so strong in that effort there. Um, but when you look at, like, because I was just hyped for it, I just wanted to do it. I, I couldn't wait for those steps to kick in when it started to get hard. But looking back on it, I'm like, man oh man, like, 420 watts for a minute. Like I was holding 420 watts 
for 10 minutes, 12 minutes, like at my absolute peak. Um, and it's just like, it's, it's not, it's so motivating to see that like that's the level that I can still, you know, I can, I can shoot for and hopefully surpass. So it's like, pfft. no, I won't start the FTP test, the 20 minute test tomorrow at 320. No way. No, no way. No, 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 no. Uh, air on the side of caution, totally air on the side of caution. Um, I'll do, um, I'll probably start like 305, 300, 305 for the first like three minutes, see the heart rate responds. I'd like to think I'm an absolute unit at pacing a 20 minute test, because I'm just, uh, I probably do about 50 of them every year when I do a club 10 mile time draw. <laughs> oh, I can see a couple of you in the chat have missed it, have missed the live stream. I don't know how you missed it, surely you've got the bell notification on. <laughs> Uh, I got a 300 watt FTP, I think. That's a great question, Hal. How long do I think it'll actually take me to get back to where I was? Um, it'll probably take me like six months. Maybe. I'm being up, I'm being like cautious when I say that, but I have absolutely no idea. Like, you know, we might see, like I've never done a WTRL series in the middle of like coming back. So the WTRL race series might actually propel me back to, to similar fitness, like a lot quicker. So we won't know, um, you know, I, I'm not really gonna throw numbers out there. I just think that like my, my first major event I'm aiming for, which is gonna require my old level of fitness, is not gonna be until June, July. So, you know, there's no rush. There's no rush at all. Um, uh, not really, Susan. You, you're usually more genetically um, favoring a ramp test. Um, usually sprinters and, and kind of puncher riders. Puncher, puncher. 304 watts is about 5 watts per kilo, Simon. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Phil. Yeah, Dunkery Beacon, 7 watt per kilo for 12 minutes or whatever it was. Crazy. What's going to be the major changes to what you do to get back to peak power? Um, major changes is just train, just get back to training. Uh, there's no secret, um, training works. I'm just going to train. Um, you know, I'll, I'll go back through like, a. will do a, I'll probably do a lot of volume, uh, a heck of a lot of volume. Um, but yeah, no, I didn't have a gel. I just, I don't feel any differently for, for a short effort like this. It, it's not needed, uh, especially when you do it late in the day. Um, I'm definitely someone who regains fitness quickly, yeah. But that's because A, my age, and B, my training history. And my availability to train. So, you know, I can I can knock out a 25 hour training week. <laughs> um, you know, that certainly that certainly helps. Um Oh, f for sure, for sure, um, Mr. Pitt, like but I'm making the most of it now while I'm at, while I'm at peak peak age. For, for all this, isn't it? You know, you can come back in 20 years time when you're still watching my YouTube videos and, uh, and tell me that I'm too old to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand the calculation you made, Ruben, but um, I, always, I always pace it negative, like massively negatively. So my last five minutes will be like way, way over like the prescription so if i was aiming for 320 my last five minutes could be like 380 3 360 so it's almost like a ramp test but not as uh obviously longer and a bit more controlled um how long did it take you to get from 300 watts to peak the first time around well like eight years ago um but it took me it took me eight years to get from 300 watts to 380 watts. <laughs> yes, I'll be training through the WTRL series. Yeah, uh, I likely won't be won't be doing anything in the WTRL series, so I'll just use it as a huge training block. I'm not tra I'm not panic training. <laughs> 
Sorry, Robin. Yeah, tomorrow's a 20 minute test. Yeah, it's all up to uh, it's all up to you guys now in the WTRL. My word, there's so many so many messages, guys. I can see how many of you have like really stuck around because <laughs> we were at 500 viewers at one point, and then it's like it's now hovering at 250. So I appreciate all 250 of you who uh, who are really here for the the best bit, <laughs> quite frankly, the bit at the end. <laughs> I'll do a little bit of both, Ralph. Um, you know, base and everything else. I'm not. I'm. I'm not into linear periodization, um, so I'll. I'll be mixing lots of things. Uh, if you follow me on Strava, you'll see. You'll see it all there. Um, yeah, the recent dying changes. Maybe my body's adjusting, but it doesn't matter. Like, uh, you know, it. It is what it is. Like, I'm not gonna get less power out of myself. Um, Oh my word! I'm not first. I'm not frustrated or disappointed. Well, I am, am I? I mean, obviously, who wouldn't be if you lose eighty watts off your FTP? Um, cheers, Hal. I appreciate it. Um, I, I appreciate. No, I appreciate all your comments. All the comments, guys. Jordan, Hal, Matt, all, all of you guys who are who are like you know. Uh, rationalizing it you it shows how mature you are and you know um, you know how these things work so um. <laughs> that's true die yeah <laughs> the black mountains <laughs> I'll be I'll be up there as long as it's not icy <laughs> no Susan um uh, well personally I think I can get to send what Bikilo on a low val low volume training plan because intensity is always something that wins a bike race usually not duration uh but then this is something really really niche that's send what Bikilo for 20 minutes um you likely get there with a low volume plan because it's going to be intensity that gets you there not um not duration like I said so uh oh my lord uh but then again, you know, I can't say that because I've been training for so many years. So don't look at me and think, you know, oh, Ed's doing it this way and that's the way to do it. Like I've ridden like ridiculous races, you know, training sessions, everything else for the last eight years or, or even longer, actually. Um, yeah, polarized, polarized, definitely, yeah. Oh my word, I'm trying to get through. I'm trying to actually get to the end. So stop sending messages, guys. Stop chatting. I'm trying to get to the bottom of the chat. Um, I do, <laughs> um, uh, have a steak. Terrible. No, no, Mr. Pitt. Like, uh, I'm not going for Sam Watt Pekil or FTP. I'm going for Sam Watt Pekil for 20 minutes. There's two different things. Um. <laughs> Cheers! Thanks for the love. Thanks for the love. Thanks, Graham. I appreciate it. Yeah, exactly. You don't win the Tour de France on twenty-minute power. You don't win the Tour de France. You just get your local Strava segment instead. <laughs> Cheers, Bell Up. Um. <laughs> nice one Josh <laughs> certainly Chris cheers 100% Keith yeah the base yeah definitely uh, oh. <laughs> uh, oh I'm at the bottom I'm at the bottom <laughs> Natasha how are you doing um, I've got to, uh, I've got to jump now, chat. I'm sorry. I've got to, I've got to love you and leave you. Um, Charlie wants to get on at seven. She wants to do a little ride. So, um, uh, thank you. Uh, I do appreciate it. I would love your support again for tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I'll do a 20 minute test, which will actually be a, a time trial. If you want to join the event, it's going to be 6 PM British time. And I think it's going to be the cycling weekly time trial um it's bang on 16k so it should take me about 20 and a half minutes maybe so it's a good it's good motivation 
Um, if you want to join, great. If you want to join in the live stream here, then you can. I would, uh, I'd love that. Oh, Matt, how you doing? Long time no speak. So Matt in the chat, um, Matt actually joined Binia Cycling Club roughly the same time as me. Um, so we go back a long way. In fact, we go so far back, Matt was in like secondary school with me. So, worked out it. What's that? 10. Yeah, it's over 10 years ago, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't take maths. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yes, there's group rides coming. We'll, we'll get to that. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm honestly trying to get through. Um, yeah, shoot me a message, Matt. Otherwise, I'll forget. Um, Thanks for thanks for joining. The effort was brilliant. Not quite what I hoped for, but it's a marker. We now move ahead. Um, we'll own it tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, uh, take care of yourselves. And um, uh, keep keep ed modding. That's not even a thing yet. I don't know why I said that. It's not a thing. Apologies. Catch you later. Thanks for coming.